Hey everybody, George Lugo Jr. here from Queens, New York. And what I'm going to talk to you about today is the three most common mistakes network marketers make when they're prospecting. Common mistake number one, trick people. Trick people to get to an event, trick people to get to a webinar. And what do I mean by trick people? You know, I got introduced to the home-based business arena back in 2006. And it was very common at the time to just tell someone to meet you at a hotel meeting. You know, you say, hey, listen, you know, what are you doing Tuesday night? I'm not really doing it. All right, come to this hotel meeting. I want to show you something. Oh, what is it? Now, don't worry about it. Just come. Just come. Well, how about this? You'll, um, you'll have a home, home party and you'll have your product and you invite your, your fa friends and family. And the best way to chase them away is to do this. Hey, listen, um, cousin Mike, come to my house tomorrow night. Oh, okay. What are you having a party? Nah, just come over. I got to show you something. Okay, well, what is it? Don't worry about it. Just come over. <laughs> Those of you that are watching this right now that have been in network marketing for a long time has at least done this once or twice. And let me tell you, when you do that, what ends up happening to your friends and family? Gone. Okay, don't trick anybody to a network marketing event your opportunity event, a webinar, or a home party, or whatever, okay? Never, ever, ever, ever trick someone to come to a meeting, okay? You want to first see if they're open, and then if they're open, and then you invite. That's how you do it, okay? The, most, uh, the, the common mistake, number two, is using the person's faults against them, your prospect's faults against them. What do I mean by that? Well, I got prospected the other day, a uh, gentleman found me on, on LinkedIn, and he proceeded to prospect me with the first common mistake, which I mentioned before. And the second common mistake, he turned around and said, well, I see that in XYZ year you were in this company. I see in this XYZ year you're in this company. So what are you doing now? And I told him what I was doing. And he said, well, you know, it seems like you're jumping from company to company. You know, you should be looking at mine. What? First of all, when you start taking the faults of your prospect and using it against them, guess what they're going to do? They're going to get in defense mode. Like, well, the reason why I switched from XYZ is because of this and because of that and because of this. And so if you think that you can prospect people that way, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. That's not the proper way to prospect. Don't ever use people's faults against them in a way to recruit them in your business. If you see somebody that in every six months they're in a different opportunity, do you seriously want them in your business? Really, do you want temporary income or you want residual income, long-term income? So make sure you're looking at that. Maybe you want to turn around and ask them, say, listen, I see that in 2010, 2011, 2012, 13, and 14, you were in four different companies. Tell me a little bit more about that. Why, why did you switch so much? Or, or are, you in, are you involved in all of them still? Be more of a consultant. Find out why. Maybe there's a really good reason why. Maybe they're lacking leadership. Maybe they're lacking whatever. And then, you know, go in as a consultant rather than shoving your opportunity in their face. And the last common, the third common mistake that people make is they don't listen. This is huge. Just listen. God gave you two ears and one mouth. Use them proportionally. If this person that prospected me on LinkedIn the other day asked me if I was open, I said, no, I'm not. I'm focused. Then he proceeded to use some faults that I had from year, years, uh, you know, from, from uh, some, some things in the past and use it against me. And so that didn't work. And then he proceeded to tell me about his company. I said, really, you know, I'm sorry, but you, you know, I know that company. I think they're a phenomenal company. This is just not me, though. Thank you very much. But you really should look at my company. I just told you I'm not open and I'm not looking for I'm focused on mine. Yeah, but I see that, you know, in, in uh, 2010, you went from this company and in 2000, whatever. And you should, really should look at our company. When was the last time you looked at I looked at your company about four years ago. I'm not interested. I know the product. No, thank you. I'm not interested. Yeah, but you really should look at our company. First of all, understand this. If you're doing this and you're prospecting other network marketers, 
They don't give a shit about your business. Pardon my French. They don't care about your business. All they care is about building theirs. So why are you going to shove your opportunity in their face when they said they weren't open? That boils down to listening. When you listen, okay, you will find stuff so that you can, maybe your opportunity isn't good for them. But you'll never know that if you're not listening. Maybe your opportunity is good for them, or maybe you can offer them help in another area. And always, always keep in connection with those people because you just never know. Six months down the road, they may have a falling out with the company, want to switch companies, and there you go. You're in the right place. But doing, doing these three common mistakes will push your prospects away. So after listening to these three common mistakes, if you, if you are doing it, stop doing it. If you apply uh, what I'm suggesting, you, your prospecting, uh, prospecting would be so much easier when you're uh, talking to prospects. So with that being said, if this video has brought you value, go ahead and comment and share. I always appreciate that. And if you're like me inside of network marketing, always looking for ways, tips, and strategies on how to build your business online, visit georgelugojr.com. Enter your name, email, and phone number to the right. And you'll get a weekly email from webinars hosted by my good friend, Six and Seven Figure Income Earners, teaching you how to build your business online. With that being said, this is George Lugo Jr. from Queens, New York. I'll see you on the next video. Take